Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here, or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And, last and he loses the football a second time. And he's up in it after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now Elliott. He takes this for three to the 29. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run with Elliott. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. From the 36, Prescott to the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. And that'll set him back five. Still first down. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Let's see what you got. Now Prescott. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. On second down, Elliott. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 11 yards there, first down. 21-0, our score after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Looking for his tight end, Witten, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Ryan Shazier. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Well, Charles, while we have a moment, you know what we need to do here is give a nod to the new Hall of Famers who were brought into Canton and inducted on August the 3rd. Champ Bailey, Pat Boland, Gil Brandt, Tony Gonzalez, Ty Law, Kevin Mawai, Ed Reed, and Johnny Robinson, all part of the class. Fantastic class. When you talk about guys who played at a top level, obviously they're Hall of Famers. But what I found interesting about it is you've got a great pass catcher, the best pass catching tight end in history in Tony Gonzalez. How would he like to work against this secondary? Champ Bailey and Ty Law at corner, Ed Reed and Johnny Robinson at safety. Good luck trying to get open against those four. What a matchup that would have been, but it was a terrific night for those gentlemen. Congratulations, and of course, Ed Reed's bust will go down in history because they got the hair exactly right, and Ed had a ball up there in his Hall of Fame speech. And remember, next year, they're gonna celebrate the centennial year of the NFL with a special class of 20, so get ready for those speeches. I wonder if they'll do it like Johnny Robinson this year, who actually submitted a video instead of going up to the podium, and his speech was about five minutes long, which is probably about the right length. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. 